Hello, I'm David from The King Singers, and I'm here to talk about rehearsing without a musical director. Now is the month of May, when many lads are playing. Fa -la 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 -la. Fa -la 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 We're often asked the question, who is in charge? And the answer is no one and everyone. We have in The King Singers no musical director, or viewed the other way, we have six musical directors. We believe that we work best by allowing everyone the chance to have their say about how a piece should be performed. Our rehearsals are conducted by the group as a whole. They are not used to learn the notes of a piece. That is done in people's own time. But they are our opportunity to create a performing version of a piece of music. When we allow visitors to watch our rehearsals, they often remark that we seem to be doing a lot of talking about our ideas and very little singing. If the King Singers was a larger group, this way of rehearsing might be chaotic, but for smaller ensembles like ours, it can be a very rewarding way to rehearse without a music director. We believe that as we all share the stage equally, we should all share the responsibility to form the performance of a piece. The most important element of this is always to listen to what's going on around you. In these videos, you will hear over and over again the importance of listening in ensemble singing. To tune or voice a chord properly, we often start with the bottom two voices, the foundation of the sound. Once we are satisfied with the tuning of those two notes, we add the next one, and so on, until we are happy with the result. With jazz chords, we look for the common chord. And once we're happy with that, we add the extra or blue notes to the chord. In other ways, we often take one singer out of the texture to allow them to listen to the group from slightly further away, to check on balance and tuning and other things. We do this regularly with the accompaniment to a solo, with the soloist checking that the other voices sound good. We also use pieces for fewer voices than six voices to allow close scrutiny by the other members of the group. Working on one small corner of a piece may seem very detailed, but we use these details to help us with similar moments in other parts of the repertoire. By listening, we train our ears to respond to tiny adjustments up and down the lineup of the group. If you can't agree on the right way to perform a piece, try the different options. We sometimes can't decide how things should be done and will agree to try one of the ways in a performance. It soon becomes clear whether or not that was the right way forward when we revisit the piece in the next rehearsal. In conclusion, as you rehearse without a conductor, be open to the ideas of your colleagues and try to view a piece as a whole and not merely your part within it. And above all, keep listening.